wonderful people of YouTube. Today I'm gonna show you how I did that little smoke transition I had in my Kyoto travel video a week ago, which you can actually see through by clicking here. But first, click on the subscribe button and turn the notification bell. So transition is effective if there is that common element that links the two of your videos together. And on this example, our clips have both smoke in the background. So when I was making the video, I thought of the smoke transition going from one clip to the next. Our first clip here shows a small gong but below you can see that there are smoke coming out from the incense. And our second clip is where we can see the actual incense, incense sticks. And then we can see the man was trying to take it in. This case was a perfect one to use the smoke transition. Then of course we have the third clip which is a stack footage of a smoke with a black background which you can download from the description below. We are going to place our smoke stuck on top of our two clips, just right in between them. Now you can definitely shorten this smoke clip to your liking, but I will leave it as it is for now. And then we'll go ahead to the, uh, to the top right panel where we can see the composite mode. Click the drop down and select screen. You can also choose lighten for this particular smoke clip because the background is black. Now we don't want the smoke clip to just suddenly appear and disappear. So go to the starting to the starting overhead of the smoke clip, drag this white marker here to few frames to the right. This is of course to control its opacity. And we're going to do the same thing to the last frame and drag the white marker to few frames to the left to disappear it smoothly. So last we're going to do is to control the brightness of the smoke, exactly right in the middle where the first and the second clips meet. Go down into our color tab and in the color tab, it will get you at the frame where you left the edit tab. So we want the brightness to go up on the exact frame alone. So what I'm going to do is to create, to create three key frames. One is on the middle where the two clips meet. This is where we're going to bump up the brightness and two keyframes each before and after that frame where we are going to put the brightness to normal. To control the brightness, we need to turn on the white channel alone and adjust the white curve and that is the brightness. Oh, we need to turn on the keyframe first by clicking this diamond shape just left of the character one node. We would know that that specific frame is being keyframed when we see a diamond corresponding to that frame. But we don't see any diamond shape keyframe here. That's because we modify the brightness uh, or the Y curve before we tick on the keyframe. So I'll adjust a little bit the Y curve and we see that it is being keyframed. We also can see the result on the preview which I think it's pretty good result. Now what I'm going to do is to go to the very first frame and few frames before the last frame on the playhead and adjust the Y curve to normal. You see that is also being keyframed. And few frames before the last. And let's see the preview. I think that it's pretty good to me at least. That's all for the smoke transition and for today's tutorial. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and maybe you can use this technique as well on your next video. I can't wait to see your output. See you on the next one. Be safe.